waited on this day for a long, long time. And I just want to tell everybody and introduce you. That guy right there that's with Zola and Cherry Ken, one of the best friends I ever had in my life. That's what I meant. And if everybody could take, I'm not bragging, but I'm not, I'm not doing any of that. He's one of the most humble, loving, giving people I've ever met in my life. And I know God had a reason for putting him in my life. Because I learned so much about that. He'll drive 70 miles, give somebody a dozen eggs, and never blink an eye. Never complain. Never growl. Nothing. And thank God he can do it. Cherry, does he have a giving heart? And I, I just want to welcome him here, and I want you all to welcome him. You be late. Also, I want to welcome Pastor Race and Tony back. And hopefully, you don't have to work this time. Just sit back. I, I personally asked the Lord, I said, Lord, what I would really like to do today is just say amen and hallelujah, praise God. That's all I want to do today. And I'd also like to welcome the main show, Neva and Mo. And with that being enough said, I'm not going to run my jaws. Come on up and let us have it. Before we do that, though, let's, let's open up the prayer. Gracious and merciful Heavenly Father, Father God, we thank you, Lord, that you are a God of mercy. You are a God that hears our cries, hears our prayers, heals our bodies. Father, we just ask you, Lord, today that the Holy Spirit will be moving in the hearts of the people that are here. And Father, we pray, Lord, that this message that would be brought forth today in song would touch someone somewhere. And Father, I pray that it would move us that it would bring us closer to you, Lord, knowing that one day we'll kneel before the throne of God, praising you and giving you the glory, and let us all do that here today, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God is good this morning. He wants to meet us here. His presence wants to move in this place this morning. Amen. Are you ready to feel that? Let's welcome him. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Well.
going to tell you how good God is because the things that she spoke from her mouth through the Holy Spirit was exactly the things that some of the things that needed to be said. And see, every Sunday morning when I come out here, and I've said this often, I have no idea what I'm going to say, but i got a God that says, when the hour comes, I'll give you the things to say. He's always been faithful. Pastor Ray's told me, go when you don't know what you're going to do. Because God's faithful. God left me good mentors. And I don't pray for a sermon. Anybody can preach a sermon. I pray for the word for that day that somebody will be helped. Because so many times I've come into the church house that was just broken. I mean, I was broken. I wanted to hear from my God. So bad. And most of the time I got there. But the times I didn't, I just never stood broken. Crying out to God. And lo and behold, He was faithful. For whatever reason I had to go through what I went through, God was faithful. And God carried me through. God reached down and lifted me up. Just have to stay faithful like our sisters did. Stay faithful. He's a good God. He's a good God. Just want to thank the Christian Cavaliers for the time.
life here. Why should you be here? Well, it was dear to me. But God had a reason. God had a purpose. And uh, folks, we got to go. I, I kind of give me those that have gone already. Made it, yeah. But uh, you know, I've still got to make it. That's what I say to when I go pass it away. They've made it, but I've still got to make it. So I appreciate you. We appreciate your prayers for us. And uh, the Lord is uh, working some things out in our